But first this half hour, we are hours away from Valentine's Day and this holiday means big bucks for businesses. Yeah, economists are predicting that Americans will spend $30 billion celebrating the holiday. And we're going to see a lot of that spending right here in the Miami Valley. Two News reporter Elias Seabrooks joins us live in the studio, digging deeper into how two businesses say the holiday will impact their bottom lines. What are they telling you, Aaliyah? Brooke and John, those businesses say Valentine's Day is one of their busiest times of year and believe tomorrow they'll see even more business than in recent years. Obviously with COVID or whatever, uh, it was so much more difficult this year. It was fantastic. Steve Smith, owner of the Flower Man, says his business is in a better position to deal with the surge in orders after years of struggling during the pandemic. Smith says one big factor is a much easier process this year for importing flowers, a staple gift for this holiday. It's just the time to show people that you just really want to give something beautiful. Marshall Blows, the owner of the Bellbrook Chocolate Shop, says it's all about the chocolate dipped strawberries in the days leading up to Valentine's Day. It's a very compressed holiday. It's a couple days where we're extremely busy. He says on Valentine's Day, he will spend 12 hours double dipping strawberries for customers. Riley Dugan, the department head of management and marketing at the University of Dayton, says this year people will spend an average of $200 celebrating Valentine's Day. With the holiday falling on a Wednesday, he expects spending trends to continue through the weekend. So I expect spending to be strong. Uh, you know, not only on experiences, but on those other things that I mentioned earlier, you know, candy and flowers and, and jewelry. Dugan adds that more people are turning to experience driven gifts for loved ones that can be more expen be less expensive and more memorable. In studio, Aaliyah C. Brooks, 2 News.